I would also want to uh, dig a little deeper about one point that you mentioned, which is about uh, insurance. In fact, uh, you know, many of these financial wellness sessions that we conduct across uh, different organization and the many employees that we meet every year, that's a very common question that's been asked to us. Um, you know, what kind of protection policies should senior citizens consider for themselves? And uh, is life insurance needed after retirement also? See, retirement, like I said, is a very big word. So when you, when I say retired, what I have in mind, and when you say retired, what you have in mind could be very different. So somebody who's had a late marriage, say he's got married or he's got a kid at the age of 45 or 46. The kid is only 14 years old when he is retired, right? So kid has not started earning, not finished education. So some of the liabilities for fees, etc. remain. So to that extent, this person will need uh, some kind of life insurance but normally uh, by the time you're 60 you should have paid off all your home loans you should have paid for your children's education etc or you should have kept it aside say oh I, my child will need 50 lakhs for education and so that is available in a separate thing so even if I die the child's education is not going to be affected then you don't need but if you have not provided for that and you're still going to work part time or something like that to make sure that the child's education is uh, provided for, then yes, to that extent, you need uh, money. Or if you don't have adequate money, suppose you sit down with your financial planner, you're six years of age and D says you need four and a half crores, then you have only four crores. So you're 50 lakh short and you say, okay, I will not touch this four crores because I will be employed somewhere for the next seven, eight years. So whatever I earn, I will uh, use for my day-to-day -day living, but I will not touch my corpus. <clears throat> so if you've done something like that, then to that extent, you need uh, life insurance. But life insurance, you can say 90% of people should not need. Uh, but medical insurance, some kind of critical care insurance, everybody needs, right? So uh, it's also very funny. Those who can afford it, uh, don't need it. And those who can't afford it, other people who need it. So, yeah, but yes, everybody needs medical insurance. Medical expenses are going to be high. And I'll tell you, medical insurance is far more difficult than life insurance. Life insurance, you can go buy online. Uh, medical insurance, what is covered, what is not covered, cashless hai, nahi hai, in the city where you live. Uh, in Calcutta, it may be covered, but it may not be covered in Haura. Uh, okay, Haura is too close. So something, you know, 100 kilometers away, there may not be enough hospital which will do cashless. So then what do you do? So you need to plan all that. So please uh, ask an advisor practicing in that area. I don't understand anything about medical insurance, but I can assure you it's a very difficult field to be in. So get somebody who understands uh, and be possible to get some group insurance, get a group insurance. Uh, but yes, medical insurance, critical illness insurance is something which everybody needs. All of us need till we drop dead. But uh, life insurance you need only if you are continuing to work. So if you retire, let's say you retire at 55, uh, then you need term insurance till the age of 55. If you retire at uh, 60, then you need till 60. But if you're financially free at 45, uh, you don't need term insurance after that. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.